What is up everyone, hope you're doing great. So today I'm gonna show you how to reverse your 808s and add that crazy bounce to your beats. This is something a lot of people ask me to do on IG and I thought this was the perfect time to do it. So yeah, I made a really quick beat right here to lay down some 808 notes and so far it sounds like this. Fun fact, I made this melody using my free one shot kit that I dropped yesterday, it's called Snake and it has some fire free one shots, real nice for dark samples like this one. And yeah, right now let's go to the 808 stuff. Okay, so I have pulled this 808 right here for my drum kit and the first thing you want to do before you go to reverse it is to go to the envelopes tab and set them like this. This will make it easier to reverse your 808s. Right now what I'm gonna do is lay down some basic notes for the 808 and then I'm gonna show you how we can add some reverse notes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it simple like that for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do for the reverse note is to add a small note like this and highlight it and hit Alt and U. And you have this chop thing right here. You can change the amount of chops using this knob, but I'm gonna set it to the last one right here because we want the biggest amount of notes to be chopped and hit accept. And you're gonna see right now that we have a lot of small notes. It's more like a hi-hat roll. And right now what you wanna do is pretty simple. You wanna highlight those notes and go to the velocity tab right here if it's not on the velocity go to hit control right here and click note velocity and by holding the right mouse click you just drag it up all the way up and you make this effect right here and it's like a fade in effect and it sounds like this and just like that you have a reverse 808 and here is how it sounds with the whole pattern Now of course you can do that again, but you can also just highlight once again the reversed pattern and just copy and drag it to the same spot. And yeah, I was thinking of adding the same reverse note right here. So once again, Alt and U, we have this chop thing right here. Just set it to the last one, hit accept and just hold the right mouse click and just drag it all the way up until you have this slow increase in the velocity. And here is the sound. Okay, so as a last tip about the reverse notes is to go to control, click on notepad and highlight the 808 chops and you know once again by holding the right click mouse and just drag it from the left to the right and you have this panning effect. It's really subtle but makes a really nice difference when it comes to making your beats more unique and adding some ear candy so I'm gonna do that for the rest of the reverse notes. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial today. I hope you found it useful. If you did so, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you add some reverse notes to your radio 8 patterns to make them sound more unique. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.